Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be the second part of the demo. I've already played the first half hour. We were allotted by the devs to play the village portion of Resident Evil 8. And in this video, I'm going to do the castle demo. So I have 33 minutes left. So I used about 26 and a half on the last one. So I think this one is supposed to be a little bit harder. So that gives me an extra seven minutes to complete this portion. If there's any time left over, I probably won't do anything with it. You can replay demos even um, with, even if you beat the demo, you can go back in if you have more time. So let's just say you did the village and you had no interest in doing the castle part, then you could just redo village again. But I think I pretty much went through the whole thing. I beat the village portion and I looked at whatever I could look at as quickly as I could. The only reason I would spend time going back into it would be just to look at things. Um, but I can do that in the game when it comes out Friday. So let's just get right back into the castle demo. We're just going to do standard, which is what I did on the other one. Um, Ethan's daughter might be in the castle. He entered the looming castle with a single ray of hope of finding her. But what he found instead was a most unpleasant welcome. And I do not know how to pronounce the name of the castle. And that's the name of the lady too. It's like Dimitriscu. Dimitris. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up because I guarantee you when I start playing, I'm going to have to say it 500 times. So I need to know how to pronounce it. And I know I said this in the last part of the demo, but I'm super excited for this game. Like I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am for this. Okay, so let's see. Uh, looks like we don't have anything like we had earlier. So we're starting off naked. But, I mean, just look at the graphics, guys. Like, I mean, th to me, it's just amazing. That looks like a lever. I'm assuming it's going to be part of the game and not important to me right now. Nothing. I hate empty drawers. Like, it's such a tease. If you're going to give me a drawer to open, let me freaking look at it. Crimson glass. Okay. So I can view. Treasure. Examine. Okay. Oh, we can get larger, closer. So I'm assuming it's not, it's not a key item, so it must not be anything to use. It must be something we can sell or something or barter with. Look at that dress or shawl, something. That sucker's long. So another lockpick that we can't get into, just like the other demo. Okay. I know I'm moving the camera a lot. The sensitivity, I think, is really high on it in the settings. I didn't change it, so uh, once I actually get into the game on Friday, I'll change that. Somebody was having tea. But as of now, I'm going to leave it. Mains of the Harvest. They're all dancing. Can we look at this one? No. Okay. Back from the other side. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Perfect. Let's go through the fire. See, I'm too... Oh, God. I'm too claustrophobic for that crap. No. You won't find me crawling through no holes. What's this? More scrap. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, my heart is racing, you guys. I don't know what to expect. I have seen this demo, but it was a couple it was a while back and I don't remember everything. I do know there's something with this. Yes. Yeah, we have to take the eye out for later. So I might as well do that now. Man. See, my fat ass wouldn't be able to squeeze through that little hole. Okay. See, and then it tells me to run, but I don't want to run it. Can I just, wait, can I knife this? Wait. <gasps> Look at that! A crystal fragment. I wonder if that's something you can sell. Something's happening. My controller's moving. Oh, wait. 
well, how did that happen? I didn't do anything, so I stayed first. Well, there's no way that set off something. So we got some more chem fluid. Man, this is going to be the first game, guys, that I'm going in completely blind for you all. All my other games, I guess not really, but I mean scary games. Usually when I get a scary game, I kind of watch somebody else play at least most of it. Just out of curiosity. Plus, I'm so slow when it comes to video games. I usually don't have a lot of time to play. This is the most amount of gaming I've been able to do since I got married. Because my husband and sister convinced me. Oh, look at that. Convinced me to start my own YouTubing. And it's really given me an excuse to actually play video games. But usually on my, on my own time before I started YouTubing... I, it would take me months or even a year after a game came out before I would play it myself. So I always got to watch it be played by somebody else first before I got the chance to do it. So then I would pretty much know how it works. The gist anyway. Back when... Uh, what? Oh, okay. So something goes in these sometime. Well, I wonder if the crystal goes in there. No? Oh, the crystal. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a quick turn. Crimson. Oh, no, it's to sell. Okay. Um, there's like so many ways to go. Um. Why are there so many ways? I don't like that. Just give me one way. Otherwise, I get lost. Oh my god, that guy scared the living poop out of me. Wait, can we go through here? Mask the angel's blinded... Wait, mask the angel's blinded gaze and only then will you be saved. So it must be the statues. Okay. Oh, we meet again? Okay, I just wanted to check my time. Duke. Why are you here? Oh, and so we know this guy. To be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers. Would she not? Dummy Tresk? Dummy Tresk. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking... Yeah, to make a purchase. Like, I would have never thought that that's how you would pronounce that. Domitresk. I would have thought, like, Dimitrescu, or... Yeah, I realize it's probably a different country, but still. Oh, well, that's cute. That must have to do with the game, too. So, oh, and gosh. Norshten's Labyrinth, a craftsman of the late 19th century. Norshten was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norsten then created four labyrinths, the castle, the house on a hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be Norsten's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. Oh, so this must be like a... Oh, okay, so you need a ball to work it. So that's probably part of the game, and I can't do anything about it now. Let's just oh, yes. um, creep on this guy really quick while we have time. So we have 5,000. I've got some new stock. So I really like that they brought the merchants back. It's really cool to me. So I guess this would be to sell. I really don't want to sell anything. What is Lenny? Oh. Um, upgrades and then supplies. Oh, that's cool. So we already have the knife. Sniper rifle ammo, ammo. I, the only thing I don't like is the fact that you can buy ammo now. I feel like that's like cheating. But that's just me. So let's just go ahead and buy the shotgun. I saw you eyeing that one. Have a wonderful adventure. Because now we don't have money. I really didn't want to sell these things. I wanted to hold on to them because I found them. So we'll just use the money we have. Okay, so we can go upstairs and we can go right. I'm not really sure which way we're supposed to go. Oh. There's another upstairs. Okay, see, I don't... 
Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to finish this, this one, guys. There's just so much to look at. See, there's another staircase. Oh, break. Oh, look at that. Break shit. I love breaking stuff. Just like Resident Evil 4, we got to break the vases. Or the vase. I guess you could call it. Oh, God, I don't know which one I'm supposed to go. Walk from the other side. Nothing. Another room. And that's got more stairs. What in the devil? Okay, that's locked. I wonder if it connects to that. Oh, okay, I have to go this way. We'll go up this way. I'm assuming it's going to connect those doors. Okay, if we don't finish the demo, we don't finish the demo. We got a good look at this game, so good enough for me. Okay, I figured that was going to lead to there. And I hear something like really gushy. <gasps> oh, don't get mad at me. I didn't say I could break it, but I did it anyway. Fire. more money. Like, do we go through here? Lock from the other side. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if we're supposed to go up or down. Let's see, that's the thing. Is I don't want to go too far. Oh, is this what we're looking at? I think we were looking at it from this way. Maybe. Okay. No. Maybe not. I'm going crazy. Yep. Going crazy. And gun ammo. Now, I believe the eye goes in here. So, I'm going to look around first. Oh, another room. Oh, you know what? Oh, the wine room. Ooh. They keep their wine locked. Chem fluid. What is this? Yeah. So a specific bottle of wine goes in that. That's cool. So another part of the game we can't do until the actual game. But that's interesting. Okay, that goes downstairs. Oh my gosh, there's too much to look at. More money. Walk from the other side. Balcony. A vase scared me. See, that's bad. Okay, that was locked. Okay, before we open the eye room, we're gonna go back down here because I wanna check out. Okay. So, it just seems to me like time is going faster than I think it is. That was locked, I think, from the other side. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to go back to this room by the Duke again. Because there was a room back here. Oh, maybe it was this room. It was this room. Okay. And I think there was a second demo to this game. This is technically the second demo. There was like a previous demo to this um, that I watched somebody play. Um, let's see. January 5th, Rednick, delivery of one male, three females. January 28th, Mother Miranda, meeting with Mistress... I forgot her name again. Domitresque. February 1st, The Duke, business discussions. Okay. Yeah, Domitresque. 
Three daughters, Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. Why aren't they blue? Oh gosh, that needs some more stuff. Okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, there was like another uh, demo before this one. I didn't have access to that one, so I didn't play it. Can I use it? Nope, can't use that yet. Money. Can't take the lantern. Okay, so we're done in here. While we're here, I might have enough money to buy. Wait. I just can't, I can't remember where things are anymore. Where's the Duke? If I can remember where he's. Yeah, he's down here somewhere. He's in here. Yeah, so do I have enough money? Welcome, Ethan. Two. Four. Yes. Let's buy some shotgun ammo. Oh, that's how. Okay, that's how I have to do it. Then you gotta buy like med kits, mines. Okay, good enough for now. Till next we meet. Okay, perfect. So I'm a feel. I have a feeling we're gonna need it soon. Okay, so onward. I feel like this demo is longer. Maybe it's just more to do. I don't know. I don't know. We don't need the wine room. We need... No. I th yep, it's the other hallway. Okay. Run, Ethan, run. Can we, like, cut this? Okay, never mind. Okay, take the eye, lady. Let me put that in your bloody socket. Boom. Oh no, bad things. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. ew. Oh. oh God! Eh, she's here. <laughs> Holy shit! That should have hurt me. June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I am a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. Wow. And at night, I hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it. Shut it now, they all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. This must be the cellar. And we fell from up there. Okay. Nothing to grab. Nothing to grab. So we got 16 minutes. Oh. We got some scrap. Bottles of wine. More bottles of wine. Bottles, barrels. More crawling to do. Oh. That's the tall lady. Oh my god, she's like seven foot tall at least. Like, dang, lady. She be tall. More wine bottles. Nothing to do, nothing to do. Nothing to take. Oh, more handgun. Maybe I didn't have to buy any. I got 51. That should be enough if something were to happen, I guess. Okay, that's locked. Can't go there. 
and glare. Is that a hand? Oh my gosh, that's a hand sticking out of that barrel. I wonder. Ew. Maybe it's not wine that they're bottling. Maybe it's human blood. <gasps> I don't know. Just a theory. Gives me the creeps though. Oh god, bad things are gonna happen. In the scary. Oh, the noises though too. Like, I don't like noises. They freak me out. If you guys had watched me play Resident Evil 7, and I had played that before. This game I'll be going in completely blind on Friday. And, uh, trust in light. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going in completely blind, and it's freaking me out just a little bit. Trust in light, yep, and then you put me into the darkness. E, I don't like it. Oh, I really don't like it. Oh. There's a toilet. A chair. Oh. Help me, brother. Oh, Lord. I'm scared. Candidates, Irina, Michaela, Luis, and Ingrid, Rejects, Dandora, Greta, Nadine, Camelia, Bianca, Melina, Astrid, oh my, Mila, Rosalina, Lena, Stefana, Gabriella, these names though. I have a feeling things are going to pop out pretty quick here. Oh, for God. Irina, robust appetite. Michaela, robust appetite. Luis, robust appetite. Ingrid, unstable, overly alert at times. Oh my god. Okay, we got an herb. Yeah, see, there is something out there. You cannot tell me there's not. So we have to make our own med kit. I don't like this. Like, where are you?
Kitty, you're in my face. I'm trying to shoot you. Oh, I can't reload because she keeps hitting me. That's my problem. I'm glad, glad I bought all that ammo. Oh, a pipe bomb. Damn. Yeah, that's the way we came. Oh, God. That's Nito. Whoa. Okay. Eight minutes, so holy cow. The shotgun does some major damage. I should have watched, so they kind of just um crackle up and die, I guess. That's something we can go down later. Come here. Oh, I missed. Shoot. We got stained with blood. Is that it? That was pretty awesome, if I gotta say. Okay, so we got six minutes. Yeah, I think we're nearing the end too, from what I remember. But man, was that awesome. I wanna look back a little bit. I didn't get a chance to look around just because I was being chased. But look at, I mean, this is cool. Leads to outside. All these, um, all these jail cells are so intriguing and really creepy. I mean, they really put some stuff in there that would really freak you out. The wine barrels, the creatures, I mean, everything is just so well done, like, and I gotta admit, I'm, when it comes to certain video games, it does not take much to impress me. Anything in the horror realm or things that I enjoy in general, like, like Resident Evil, it does not take a lot to impress me. But considering it's been three years since they made RE7, because they spent the last three years remaking um, 2 and 3, which I still have not played those. I'm going to, but um, I was more concerned about this coming up. Yes, I know the time's still going, but oh man, is it... This is just amazing to me. That's photo mode. Oh, look at that. Um, I don't know. It's just, I'm so super impressed. And then the monsters. I know a lot of people did not like the idea of the... Um, See, we need a key to get in there. Um, I know a lot of people did not like the idea of the uh, lichens or the, I guess, I don't know what you want to call them, like witches, I guess. I can't believe Cassandra caused all this mess. But to me, it's amazing. I like this new idea. It's new monsters. It's not the same old zombies that you see in every other game. Which tools do you prefer? So I'm impressed with it. That's just me. Ah. 
Now, from what I heard, you cannot kill this. Oh, holy cow. Um, yeah, from what I heard, you cannot kill her. So, basically, I think as soon as we go up the stairs, our game ends. A healthy man's blood. Mm. I can't wait. Oh, is it going to kill me? <laughs> I didn't think I was going to die. Hold on. Let me restore health. Let's shoot her once with the shotgun. Yeah, so we can't kill her. Um, four minutes left. <laughs> she just reforms. So we're just gonna go on ahead. I need blood. Warm, wet, bright red blood. Do you? Oh god. No! Don't hurt me! <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I love it. I cannot explain to you. So we beat this one in just over a minute longer. Not probably not even a minute longer than the other demo. Um out of the two, this one was definitely way harder just because you had all those creatures down in the cellar to get rid of. But granted, I probably could have just maneuvered around them and totally ignored them. Whereas in the village part, the only thing we had was, that was more of like an intro, I guess, into the game. So it was probably better to play the village portion before the castle version. But I do know that if you went through the, um, by the scarecrow area where all the, like the wheat and the weeds were, if you run around long enough, I know you end up pulling some of the lichens out. Um, so you can shoot them, but I didn't because I didn't want to waste time, which I'm glad I didn't because I didn't end up with that much left over after this one anyway. Um, I know I showed the demo on the last one. I'm going to go ahead and let it play again. I'll probably just talk through it, maybe, depending on if I got anything left to say. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the trailers, there's been like three or four different trailers. The trailers, both demos, the previous demo I had watched a couple YouTubers play. That demo came out a couple months ago. Everything to me, and that's Umbrella's symbol, if anybody wants to know, which is old time Resident Evil. Um... To me, everything is just so good. Like, I have not been this excited for a new game coming out in a very long time. I mean, the remakes for 2 and 3, I never even played the original 2 and 3. So I don't know what to base it off of. Uh, but the new ones, I've watched people pl do playthroughs of them. And they look fun. I will do that on my own time. Um, I probably will upload it for the channel. But I'm not in any hurry to do it because they've been out for a while. The only reason I played Resident Evil 7, which had come out before those remakes, is because I wanted you all to know who Ethan was and who Chris was and Mia before we got into this game, because I know it's a continuation, kind of. So that's why I did that. But, yeah, I'm just so enthralled in this world, and I like the fact that there's different areas. There's the village, there's the castle. I like the... the um, the antagonist in here, the ladies. I know everybody's gotten taken by the uh, Domi Trask lady, but it's just so enthralling to me. And I'm a huge fan of werewolves, vampires, the whole thing. So for them to finally put him into this game, I'm super excited for. Oh, the guy with the wings in the background I didn't see before. But, um,. Like, the previous Resident Evil games were all, like, zombies and then, like, uh, big bosses that had taken lots of viruses to make their bodies bigger. And this one is just so different that I'm super excited for it. Oh, and then the, the um, I know a lot of people are mad about the, the, um, the merchant because they wanted to have the merchant from... Resident Evil 4 back, who was my favorite merchant. That guy was badass. Um, but I'm just glad they brought it back in general. The only thing I don't like is the fact that you can buy ammo from him. And that maybe that's only part of the demo, allowing you to buy ammo. 
Um, I could have just been something to get you through the demo with. But I don't like the idea of buying ammo, just because then I think the game makes it too easy for you. They should make it hard enough where you have to craft it or find it, not just buy it. Because then I think you can just buy your way through the game if you have if you save up your money, I guess. But I guess depending on how well you keep your money and things like that, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. But we'll just click through this. Um, I think I have like four minutes left. Yeah, just under four minutes. So maybe the demo or the trailer took up part of my time. I don't know. Um, I guess I don't have enough time to go back for you guys. I'm just going to end it here. So I can't show you the lichens, but if you want to see that, check out Ohm's video. He definitely shows the lichens in the, in the grass right here, but that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys all Friday when I get this game. I'm going to start playing it right away. Thanks guys.